Hi, Katherine Ewing here from Reawaken Your Dreamer. I hope you're having an awesome day. So I've just spent most of the day with clients, and I'm between clients now for a few minutes, and I just was inspired to make this short video because something has been coming up so much recently, actually all morning, um, and, and uh, in the last week or so, that I just felt like I wanted to address it with all of you. So I'm going to have us do a little bit of EFT, and um, I want to focus on the issue or the belief of not being enough or not being good enough. Because I know that no matter how successful we are, no matter how much education, no matter how much training, perhaps how far we've gone in our career, most of us, women in particular, still have a place in us where we don't feel quite good enough. And, you know, I've talked about this before. It always traces back to our childhood or in my belief system to perhaps experiences from other lifetimes that are carried through in our energy systems. But whatever your particular reason is, I can almost guarantee that there's a piece of you that still is holding on to some self-doubt, perhaps some shame, um, all tied around this idea of not being enough or not being good enough. So let's just go ahead and spend a couple minutes and just blast that out of the way because it really doesn't serve you anymore. We're in such an important time right now where every one of us is being called to step forward, to really pay attention to whether you call it the inner voice, your soul urging, your higher self, your divine self, whatever it is, something is wanting to come through you into the world right now. And you know it. There's a little feeling. There's a little nudge. There's this little, as one of my clients said, feels like something's just hanging around over her shoulder. And she couldn't quite identify what it was until we did. And it wasn't that hard. And what it was, was that over time, she had made some compromises. She had let go of some things that were really important to her and some things that she knew helped keep her feel centered and grounded and on track because other people needed things from her or because her job didn't allow that or for whatever reason. And that voice, that energy that was hanging over her shoulder was really her higher self, her inner self saying, come back, come back. You've lost parts of yourself. Come back to yourself. And so just a little bit of work together and she was able to recognize that and see that and realize she is enough. She is good enough when she is truly allowing herself to be herself. So let's go ahead, spend a couple of minutes. And you know with the EFT, we're going to tap. We're going to tap right on this uh, karate chop point. And let's just start with the statement. Even though I have this belief that I'm not good enough, and I don't always feel that I do the right things or say the right things, I accept myself and all of my feelings. So even though I've been told that I'm not good enough, maybe not smart enough, or not thin enough, or not funny enough, or not generous enough, I've always done the best I can, and I accept myself and who I am. So even though I have this gnawing belief that I'm not enough, or that I'm not good enough, I choose to believe that I am enough, exactly as I am, and that I don't need to add to or change anything about myself. And then we'll just start some tapping. Not good enough. 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 This nagging feeling. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not smart enough not thin enough, 
not funny enough, not beautiful enough, not generous enough, not something enough. I'm just not enough. I'm just not good enough, no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, no matter what I do, it's just not enough. I'm not enough. There's something wrong with me. I'm not enough. I'm not funny enough. I'm not thin enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not quick enough. I'm not generous enough. I'm not kind enough. I don't do enough. I don't do enough for others. I do the best I can. I do the best I can. But I have this belief. I still have this belief that I'm not good enough. That I'm not enough just the way I am. That there's something missing there's a missing piece, and if I could just figure that out, I'd be enough. It's exhausting feeling like this, that I'm not good enough, that I'm not enough. It wears me out. I keep trying to be perfect. I keep trying to do the right thing, or what other people think is the right thing, or what other people want me to do, other people's agendas. It's exhausting to live in this space of not being enough or not being good enough. I have to pretend. I have to hide. I have to put on this mask. So many masks. The happy mask, the smart mask, the competent mask, the generous mask. All of those masks that mask the real me who I really am on the inside. I'm tired of hiding. I'm tired of being afraid, being afraid of being found out. What if they knew? What if they knew who I really was, what I was really like? What if they knew what happened to me? What if they know my secret? What if somebody can tell all this shame not good enough, never good enough, something wrong with me, something missing from me, some empty space in me that never gets filled up. I can never quite fill it up because I have this belief that I'm not enough and I'll never be enough and I'll never be good enough and it'll never be okay for me to be who I am so exhausting. It's so tiring. I'm so worn out. I just want to rest and relax and be myself. So I think I'll try that. I think I'll just try being me. Let go of the masks. Let go of the facade. Let go of the pretense. Let go of the perfection. Let go of needing to be liked and of the fear of being judged. If someone doesn't like me, oh well, it's not the end of the world. Not everyone is going to like me. I have to like myself. And I can't like myself if I don't know who I am. So I'm ready to let it go. I'm ready to let go all of the perfectionism all of the trying too hard, all of the fear of being judged, of being criticized, of being disliked or not wanted. And I'm going to trade it all to like and want and appreciate myself. Ah, how does that sound? I can actually like myself just for who I am. I'm going to breathe into that liking myself, accepting myself, forgiving myself, being compassionate with myself, loving myself, honoring myself, 
making a different choice, knowing I'm worth it, that I am good, that I am good enough, that I am enough, just being myself, just being who I am, and being okay with that. And so I'm going to choose to like myself, to be okay with myself, to know that I'm enough, and to know that I'm good enough, just as I am. Accept myself just the way I am. And we'll tap on the karate chop spot just for another few moments, just letting that energy settle. Just breathing in. Noticing how that feels. So I hope that helped. Please play with it. Use your own words. EFT is very personal, so make it your own. You can follow my script if that serves you. You can choose your own words, turn off the video, use your own words for a while, and then come back to the video. Whatever it is that works for you, just notice what comes up as you start doing this tapping. What are the specifics for you around not being enough or not being good enough? And incorporate those words and that language into your own tapping. So I wish you a beautiful day. I wish you a beautiful life. You are enough. You are good enough, just as you are. Namaste.